Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this apple cider pound cake. Absolutely fantastic for these chilly fall days coming up. The ingredients for the cake part is going to be a half a cup of apple cider, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, three large eggs at room temperature, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, three fourths cups of butter at room temperature. It can be salted or unsalted. One and a half cups of all purpose flour. This is the cake part. For the glazed part of this cake, you're gonna need three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar or confectionery sugar. Some of you in the world will know this as icing sugar and three to four tablespoons of apple cider. Let me show you how simple and easy this is to get together. In a medium bowl, I'm adding all our granulated sugar with that room temperature butter. See how nice and soft that is? That's what you're wanting. And if you don't have this softness on your butter, you can put it in your microwave. Nuke it for about five seconds at a time until you get lovely and soft like this. Just adding the rest. I like using a hand mixer for this pound cake since it only makes a nine by five inch loaf pan. You wanna be sure you get your butters and sugars well blended. This will take about three to four minutes. After three minutes, it'll be looking like this. See how creamy that is? At this point, you wanna make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl as you go. Next, we're gonna add one egg at a time. And as you can see, I've cracked it open and added them into a bowl, much easier to transport. From the bowl, then the eggshell. We're gonna mix this till we can no longer see the yellow. About 15 to 20 seconds. Be sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl as you go. Add the second egg. Your last egg. That looks perfect. We're going to alternate one third of the flour, the baking soda, salt, and one third of our half cup of apple cider. On low speed until you get your flour mixed in. Oh, ooh, and I can smell that apple cider. It smells so yummy. And we're gonna mix this until we can no longer see the flour. And turn it up to medium speed. That looks great. And again, make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl. Very, very important for texture and flavor. Back with another one third of our flour with the one third of our apple cider. Mm, I can't tell you how good that apple cider smells. Ball is in the air. And mix so you can no longer see the flour. Scraping down the sides of the bowl as you go. Spatula always works best when scraping down the sides of your bowl. Add the remaining of your flour and your remaining apple cider. Mix to well blended. The last time you do this, you want to mix at least for 40 to 50 seconds. All right, turn up our speed and continue scraping down the sides of your bowl. That looks great. Now this is ready for its baking loaf. I'm baking my cake in a nine by five inch loaf pan that I've lightly greased and floured. And then I'm adding a piece of parchment paper where I've used those butter wrappers. And I'm gonna lie it here in the bottom to ensure that my cake isn't gonna stick. We're just gonna spoon that apple cider pound cake into our loaf pan. Okay, just get it down in there. You can't hurt it. And it is gonna make a hearty nine by five loaf pan. With an additional spatula, I make sure I get it all off. With a skewer or a butter knife, we're gonna run it back and forth through our batter. Why? because we don't want any air bubbles in our cake once it bakes. And if you don't have one of these, go ahead and use a butter knife. It'll do the same thing. You just cut through it to make sure you don't have any air bubbles. And you wanna make sure you give it a tap to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And this is off to a 350 degree preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 40 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted 
comes out clean. Use your timer and no peeking. Our apple cider pound cake has completed baking and oh my gosh, it smells fabulous. Now let me show you how I test this. To make sure it's completely baked, I use a toothpick. I go into the center, pull it out. No batter on that toothpick. So this cake is completely baked. I'm gonna let it cool down here in its pan for five minutes. I've had my apple cider cake cooling for about 10 minutes. With that powdered sugar, we're gonna add a little bit of that apple cider a little bit at a time, and we're gonna use a little whisk, and we're gonna start whisking it around. We want a thin consistency so we can pour over the top of our warm apple cider pound cake. Just whisk it until all the powdered sugar little lumps have disappeared. You may not need to use all your apple cider, as you can see, just add a little bit at a time until you get this lovely consistency. Next, we're just gonna pour it evenly over the cake. Okay, just get it all over. And we're just gonna let this set up. Mmm, it'll just gonna absorb into this warm cake and it's gonna be so delicious and yummy. You may wanna tilt your pan to get it evenly coated. And I'm gonna let this sit here and I'm gonna let it cool down for one hour until we cut into it. So hang tight. Couldn't wait to dig into this apple cider pound cake. Let's see, ooh, look how lovely and moist that is. Mmm, and we gotta get a little bite here on the corner. Mmm, wow. Mmm, still a little warm. Mmm, that apple cider. The moistness of this cake is literally falling apart because it's still super warm. And looky here on the inside. Look how fabulous that is. This loaf pan, it makes one pound of this apple cider pound cake. Fabulous for this fall weather coming up. Winter too, spring and summer if you desire. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching y'all. Stay safe and I'll catch you lovely people later.